Beware of illegal video cassettes. Check whether this video cassette carries a genuine security sticker. Video piracy is a crime. Do not accept it. Demand a genuine cassette from your video store. Poor quality illegal video cassettes reduce your viewing pleasure and jeopardize future film production. When in doubt, telephone the Federation Against Copyright Theft, FACT, on 081-568-6646. Venice, city on the sea, land of beauty and romance, where three different men came for their own good reasons. Unfortunately, they all checked into the same hotel. <laughs> Melvin Orton is a businessman. Yes, that's right. Michael Lawton is a hitman. Yeah. And Morris Horton is a dirty old man. That's the spirit. Three men with nothing in common. Oh. Oh. Except for one bellboy who got them all mixed up. Orton. Horton. 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 Now he's got the wrong client. Why you want me there? He's got the wrong target. Can I join you? And he's got the wrong idea. Some of them just want to do it on the phone. All because of a bellboy who can't get anything right. Horton. Yes. With the hate, yes. Hollywood Pictures presents Dudley Moore. Everything is absolutely under control. Brian Brown. What do you do for me? Me, I shoot people. Things will pick up when you're a florist. Patsy Kenzie. Peggy. Rumpy Bumpy. Slap and tickle. And Bronson Pincher. Get up! Get up here! In an outrageous new comedy. We don't get to use the beers as often as we would like. Blame it on the bellboy. The Bartels couldn't believe how fortunate they were to find Peyton. I adore children, Mrs. Bartell. I love being with them. I, I love taking care of them. For me, it's, it's the next best thing to actually being a mother. But they didn't find her. She seems terrific. What's the catch? There is no catch. I think she's great. She chose them. You never let an attractive woman take a power position in your home. All I'm saying is you have to watch your back. Now, their innocence is her opportunity. He has your eyes, you know. Do you really think so? Their trust. Peyton's been great. Has she? I don't know what we would have done without her. Is her weapon. If something happens to my mommy, you take care of me. Of course I would. And their destruction. There's only one woman for me. That's all you need. Her triumph. When your husband makes love to you, it's my face he sees. Get out of our house. She's turning on me, Michael, just like you said she would. Call the police. Claire, calm down. You don't know what she's capable of. Claire! Anyone can have an accident. Michael? What goes around comes around. Mommy! The hand that rocks the cradle is the hand that rules the world. To my family. The hand that rocks the cradle. I used to think a wedding was a simple affair. Boy and girl meet, they fall in love, they say I do. I was wrong. That's getting married. A wedding is an entirely different proposition. You fathers will understand. You have an adorable little girl who looks up to you and adores you in a way you could never have imagined. Dad, I met a man in Rome and we're getting married. I'm sorry, what did you say? I'm engaged, I'm getting married. <laughs> Right then, I realized my day had passed. Annie, it's a little nippy out. You might want to put on oh, a sweater. Oh, Dad, it's okay. I'm kind of warm. So there's a chill in the air, and you've been on a plane. Dad, I'm fine. Annie, it is kind of cold out. It is? Yeah. All right, thanks. I'll get my jacket. Right. 
I was no longer the man in my little girl's life. Old dad's history. I remember seeing someone who looked like Brian's twin on America's Most Wanted. First, the wedding of our children. Wedding coordinator? What's a wedding coordinator? Master and Mrs. Fox and the lovely bride. We're gonna color coordinate with the swans, right? The swans? <laughs> I have a great idea where we can have this wedding. Where? The steak pit. I don't think you want the word pit on wedding invitation. <laughs> I'm leaving. I hope George didn't get lost up there. He's gonna be fine. Finally, the big day arrived. The day I'd been dreading for the past six months. Well, actually, for the past 22 years. Before I knew it, I had to let her go. Good, I'll, I'll just... Uh, go ahead. Touchstone Pictures presents Steve Martin, Diane Keaton, Martin Short, and introducing Kimberly Williams. I'm told that one day I'll look back on all of this with great affection and nostalgia. I'd hope so. Good night, Mr. Banks. Drive carefully. And don't forget to fasten your condom. Dad! Seatbelt, I meant. I meant seat. Father of the Bride. Adrian Davis enjoyed her work. Why would anyone ever want to cover these little guys up? Loved her husband. I don't know what I'd do without you. You'd think of something. Adored her child. How are you doing, honey? Good. She thought her life was perfect. I love you. And I love you. Until a coincidence made her wonder. You know, the weirdest thing happened to me yesterday. I was with Charlotte at the Chesterfield Hotel, and she told me that she could have sworn she saw you go into the lounge there. Now there are questions she can't answer. You didn't go to Boston, did you? Suddenly I'm a liar. Mysteries she can't solve. They discovered a fake necklace at the museum. We traced the forgery to a jeweler in Stuttgart who said the necklace was made for a guy by the name of Daniel Sherman. Evidence she can't deny. You had his business card. I found it in your suit pocket. What else am I lying about, Adrian? What else? Suspicions she can't escape. A man with a social security number that your husband claimed was his died 16 years ago. Until there's only one thing she's sure of. I don't know who you are. Yes, you do. I'm your husband. Nothing is what it seems. Now we're all fair game. I'm gonna ask the police to reinvestigate Jack's death. This complicates everything. We don't know who your husband was. Who knows anybody else, really? You know what I'm thinking? What? How lucky are you? Goldie Hawn. John Hurd. Deceived. There's a danger in feeling too strongly about your patient. But isn't it unnatural not to become involved with the patient? I'd rather you cut straight and cared less. There is a difference between a surgeon's skill and a doctor's care. How's business in the big league? We're killing them. Between treating a patient... I'll check you out. You're a gynecologist, so drop your pants. <laughs> and treating a person. <coughs> what is it with this throat thing, huh? You okay? Now, Dr. Jack McKee is about to discover the difference for himself. Jack McKee. Hmm? Yes, I know. Have a seat. Right. We've been sitting here for 30 minutes. Why didn't she give us these when we first arrived? She should have. I bet you feel like you don't know what's going on. What are you doing? Don't worry, they don't know either. You were late getting here. I was not late getting here. Radiology was late with my MRI. I'm gonna shout. Go shout at a doctor. I am a doctor. Not when you're sitting here. William Hurt. I'm really terrified. Oh, sweetheart. In a story about a surgeon who became an ordinary patient. Do you suppose you could get me a thinner sheet? I'm not sure everyone can see through this one. The system stinks. Fight it. I know how you must be feeling. That's the problem. You don't have the first idea what I'm feeling. And then becomes an extraordinary doctor. We got it all. Oh. <laughs> Love you. My friend, the wish doctor, he taught me what to do. The movie that does what every doctor should do. Now you're going to fit a little prick. Please, doctor, we've only just met. It makes you feel good. 
the doctor. From the creators of Letter to Brezhnev comes Blonde Fist. Ronnie has never had a decent break. This girl takes nothing lying down. Who do you think you are? Sneaking in here in the middle of the night? Not a... Not after last night. Ronnie O'Dowd is a streetwise Liverpool girl who knows how to look after herself. Can you make provision for your child? I've done the video shop. Well, when I say armed, it wasn't with a gun or anything. A knife, a potato peeler. What are you going to do for a face when Jabba the Hutt wants its ass back? Now she's in New York, facing another kind of fight. Hey, honey, did you say you were looking for John O'Dowd? I've had liposuction, an ass lift, and I'm putting away for a chin job. I love it. Money, cars, respect. The fight to reunite her family is Ronnie's greatest challenge. When life gets tough, there's always one way to put things straight. With her fists. into the ring. Ten grand if you win. You got any idea what these things have done in my life? You go to that fight over my dead body. Margie Clark is Ronnie O'Dowd. Blonde Fist. Who are you scared of, Dave? Me? Afraid of everybody. Ow. Everybody. Agency. Ow. Mob Cubans. You just talk to us on the record. We'll protect you. I guarantee it. It was a day that changed our lives. I saw a flash of light in the bushes, and that last shot. An act that shocked the nation. The smoke came from behind the hedge. A moment when time stood still. It seemed like people weren't even breathing, like you were looking at a picture. For one man. It became an obsession with truth. You're the DA in New Orleans. Don't you think the Kennedy assassination's a little bit out of your domain? A commitment to justice. Nobody's gonna tell me that kid did the shooting job he did from that damn bookstore. A sacrifice of everything he had. I think you care more about John Kennedy than your own family. For everything he believed. Nothing was gonna keep me from going ahead with my investigation of John Kennedy's murder. They tried to stop him from asking who. If I give you the name of the big enchilada, you know. Do I have to spell it out for you, Mr. Garrison? Then it's Bon Voyage Dino. They tried to keep him from asking why. That's a real question, isn't it? Why? The government's gonna jump all over your head, Jimbo. Why was Kennedy killed? By the same people that killed us, Pop. Nobody's gonna kill us. Who benefited? You have any idea what you're getting yourself into, Daddy-o? Who has the power to cover it up? Warner Brothers presents Kevin Costner. Now we're through the looking glass here, people. In an Oliver Stone film. White is black, and black is white. People got to know. I'm a dead man! I'm saying let justice be done over heaven's fall. before Ben Jordan was paroled. On the night of August 4th, 1975, Ben Jordan took a kitchen carving knife and stabbed his better half 30 times. Cops found a Super 8 movie camera at the scene. Jordan filmed the murder. What can I do for you? I'm here to see my social worker, Ben Jordan. It took just a moment to become intrigued. 146 IQ. Ted Bundy had 150. All they ever had on Ben was circumstantial evidence. Would it make you feel better if I told you I didn't kill her? Did you? It took days to question the evidence. Do you think he killed Kathy Tudor? At the time, I knew he didn't do it. 
You saying Ben was framed? You didn't do it, did you? It took weeks to trust him. Are you wondering if this is a mistake? Laura, this guy is dangerous. They should have executed him. Now, time is running out. And she's got to choose between what she fears and what she feels. You believed in me. Why did you stop? Rutger Hauer. Natasha Richardson. Past Midnight. Whenever you rent or buy a video, you need to be sure that the film you choose is suitable for the audience at home. To help you, there are certificates given to films which tell you broadly what the film is like. This film has been classified PG, that stands for Parental Guidance, which means that parents might want to check up on it before showing it to their younger children. If it's an action film, it might have some violence. If it's romantic, it might have some sexy scenes or very brief nudity. It might also have some of the milder swear words. Video certificates are there to give you the chance to make an informed choice. They allow you to have peace of mind and be entertained. Thanks for listening. Enjoy the film.